All right, so we have the air traffic controller spots two planes at the same altitude converging on a point as they fly at right angles to each other. So it's shown in this figure. One plane is 225 miles from the point, moving at 450 miles per hour. The other is 300 miles from the point, moving at 600 miles per hour. So in part A, we have to find the rate that the distance between the planes is decreasing. So let's, let's, let's redraw this um, you know, diagram just mathematically. So see a clear triangle. So we have a right triangle here. And we have one plane here and one plane here. So we'll have a point for each plane. And the distance between these planes will be the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle, which we're gonna have S. And the, this is a point that we don't want them to hit, go to. This is the point of convergence. So the distance at one plane, this plane is from this is represented by X. The distance that this plane is from this point is represented by Y. And so now we have that one plane is 225 miles from the point. And so that would be X, but that scale there, so that'll be this plane. And that, so this plane is moving at 200, it's moving at 450 miles per hour. So the change, you know, in X is going to be a negative 450 miles per hour. Dx, your dt is negative 450 miles per hour. Remember, it's negative because it, we're thinking about this as like the x-axis, and moving to the left is moving in the negative direction. Now, the other plane is 300 miles away, so this plane, this plane, and it's moving 600 miles per hour. So it's moving you know, downward in the y direction. So then we're gonna have a change in y with respect to the time. It's equal to negative 600. Because again, downward represents moving in the negative direction with respect to y. Now we want to find the rate that the distance between the planes is decreasing. So ultimately we want to find the change in s, so ds over dt, we wanna find what ds over dt is. So let's look to set up an equation that relates all these variables together so that we can then differentiate it with respect to time and then plug the values into the variables and solve for ds over dt. All right, so this is the right triangle. So we can use a the Pythagorean theorem to, you know, to relate x, y, and s. So that's x squared plus y squared equals s squared. And then we can differentiate this with respect to time. Because again, they're all functions of time. You know, we have essentially x of t, that whole function green squared, plus y of t. That whole function green squared is equal to s of t, that whole function green squared. So differentiating this with respect to time, you know, it's kind of similar to what we did in it's differentiation, but it's really chain rule. So we're going to have, using the power rule, we're going to have 2x times dx over dt plus 2y times dy over dt is equal to 2s times ds over dt. Now from here, let's solve this for just ds over dt. So then we're gonna divide everything by 2s. Now we'll get ds over dt just by itself. Let's, let's rewrite the equation over here. So ds over dt will be, these twos cancel. You have x over s times dx over dt. plus these two will cancel, plus y over s times dy over dt. And then we have an equation strictly for ds over dt. So now we just have to plug in values for x, s, y, and the 
dx dt and dy dt. So we already have values for dx over dt and dy over dt over here. So let's find the values for x and y and s, of course. Now, um, what we can do is we just go back to the problem. It's told that the plane, you know, this plane here is 225 miles away. So the value of x for this plane is the distance it is from the potential, you know, point where they would come up, the potential point where they would, you know, intersect and collide. That x is 225. And we're told that the other plane is 300 miles away. So this plane here, this plane here, and that's the y direction. So y is 300. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for s squared. We have 225 squared plus 300 squared equals s squared. Half of the action. Fourteen thousand six twenty five, and take the square root of that, and the S is three seventy five. Okay, so now we just plug these values in for here. Let's plug our equation for ds over dt. All of here. So ds over dt. Two twenty five so three seven five dx d dx over dt times so times four fifty plus y so three hundred over three seven five times dy dt times negative six hundred. Multiplying that all out and combining, we'll get negative 750. And if we're talking about, you know, the rate of change, you know, distance, which we're still in the miles per hour. Miles per hour. So the distance between the two planes is decreasing at a rate of 750 miles per hour. Now, let's, um, Let's look at part B. Part B is saying, how much time does the air traffic controller have to get one of the planes on a different flight path? So, you know, how much time would they crash going at this rate if, you know, they didn't change the paths of the flight? So, um, remember, remember, this is the, S is the distance between the planes. So, we essentially, when the distance between the planes is zero, that means both planes are at the same point, and that's where they would potentially crash. So we want to find when would S or when would yeah, when would S be zero? So where when would they both be at the same point? And so let's just think about this. Um at this point, when you're calculating, you know, when we're doing this problem, the distance is 375 miles. They're 375 miles away. So S is 375. If it's, if, you know, if the distance is decreasing at a rate of 750 miles per hour, we essentially want to see when would get, when would this get to zero going at this rate? So then you basically just have to divide this by that. And you get 375, this goes out actually nicely. And that's, you know, one half, I'll we'll say. It's going to take half an hour, one half hour, or even like 30 minutes. Don't overthink this part because I've had students that will overthink this and makes it a lot harder than it is. Just think, you know, logically, you don't need calculus for this, you know. Again, mm -hmm. if you have to go 375 miles and you're going at a rate of 750 miles per hour, it'll just take you 30 minutes to get there. That's all that is. 